Okay, folks, here we are. We're going to give you a run through of Talk Inspect. This is a super easy Microsoft Word based home inspection template. And basically, what we've done is we've made this template and, and done all the hard work for you so that you can open this up in Microsoft Word and turn out a very professional looking home inspection report with minimal time and effort. Alright, so I'll give you a general overview and we'll quickly scroll through the various different parts of this report. Of course you've got a, a cover page uh, we've got uh, general information here that you fill in. Building type, age of building, all that kind of thing. Then we have our various sections. And as you can see at the top of the page we have a legend. I for inspected, N for not inspected, NP for not present, RR for repair or replace, or X for exclude. And under each comment, we have check boxes. So if we've inspected the roof, we can come over here and put a check in there or uncheck as needed. And if we need to make a comment about the roof, we can come over here and we have various different comments that you can just automatically click on and have. In addition to that, we can come over here and click on choose an item and make any comment that we want. Type here any comment. In addition to that, we can go up here to the Developer tab, click on Properties, and we can develop our own drop-down list. Uh, this is very simple actually. Here we have choose an item. Uh, we want to add something. So uh, in there we're going to add the comment tree limbs are in contact with the roof period. I'll click OK. Click OK again. Now you'll notice in this choose an item box when I click on the drop down arrow I can click here. Tree limbs are in contact with the roof. OK as we scroll through we have sections on roofing. The exterior components, the garage, the interiors, the structural components. Each one of these sections where appropriate has a styles and materials section. The plumbing system plumbing styles and materials, the electrical system, styles and materials, the HVAC system, insulation and ventilation, appliances, and some optional expect inspections that you might use such as screen enclosure, lawn sprinklers, swing po swimming pools and safety equipment.
Maybe they got a cabana or pool house. Some other structure. A dock. Here you can create a summary page if you like. Also we have a generic home inspection agreement. So let's go back up to the top of this real quick. We'll see how easy it is to fill this out. Now in here you can insert a photograph of the project. You do that by clicking up here insert pictures. Now you're probably going to have a uh, folder on your desktop or somewhere for your project. Let me find a recent one. There we go. Okay. And uh, maybe you want to drop in a photo of the entry or front of the house, whatever. All you have to do is double click on the photo and as you can see it drops right in. Now we come down to the body. As you can see we have places to type in the client name. Which we can type in or if we want we can use Windows voice recognition or Dragon Naturally Speaking voice recognition. I have Dragon installed so we're going to go back to the start here. I'm going to turn on my Dragon microphone. And instead of typing in, I'm just going to speak and let's see how Dragon does doing the typing for me. John Smith. Okay, that worked perfect. Let's put his address in. I'll turn the microphone on again. 124 West Main Street. So as you can see, as quick as I can speak, Dragon does the typing. That makes it very easy to give a professional, detailed explanation of any faults that you may find on the project. Now let's run down through some of these sections. I can select that instead. Now as you can see, I'm here at the roof drainage system and I've put in many, many common comments so that you can just quickly go to it and click. You don't have to say anything. Also you notice under each section I have a little commentary such as here it says the home inspector shall observe roof coverings, roof drainage system, skylights, blah blah blah. So this will give you uh, a little reminder of uh, the things that need to be inspected uh, for this particular section. Let's go down to appliances and you'll notice again very quickly and easily you pick the manufacturer of the appliance 
drop it right in. Condition, again, needs replacement, drop it right in. If I want to If I want to go back in and make my own comment, I can turn on the Dragon microphone. And in here I can put any comment that I want just by speaking into Dragon. If Dragon misspells something, I can go in easily, put my cursor, and change it. It helps to turn off the microphone when you don't need it. <laughs> okay, so say you need to put in a photograph to illustrate a condition on the site. In order to put in a photograph, all we have to do is position our cursor where we want it. Uh, in this example, let's go to cooling equipment. I'll put my cursor there. That's where I want my picture. I'll click on insert and then pictures. Drop down box will come up. I'll move this off to the side. And all I need to do is uh, locate uh, the folder once and then it automatically comes up every time and then just double click on the picture that you want and it's automatically inserted. At this point you can just drag the corner make it smaller if you like. You can put another photo here again insert picture resize the picture the way you want it and it snaps right into into place if you want to place a comment on the picture just click enter, turn on your Dragon microphone and compressor is aged, period. Possible roof leak here, period. So you can, as you as you can see, once you get used to working this, you can fly through a report and have it completed, make it look very professional in no time at all, with minimal expense, software-wise. Buy it once, use it over and over again. Adjust the template to your own particular needs. You can do that. It's fully editable. Editable. Always have trouble with that word. Editable. Okay, so just quickly, I want to go through some of these drop downs real quick because this is really something that helps you make the job go fast. As you can see almost every item has comprehensive drop-down lists.
and you can add your own particular comments very quickly and easily to every one of these. So if you spend a little time on prepping, prepping it for your own particular situation, once you've got it done, you just use it over and over, and it just gets easier and easier the more you use it. I did forget to mention that on the pictures, if you select a picture and go up to here to insert and then shapes, as you can see, you have a large drop down list of shapes that you can uh, automatically insert. If you want to place, uh, for instance, uh, an arrow, just select it and uh, click here and uh, that uh, that arrow will go right where you want it. You can even play with the size of it, that kind of thing, if you like. And there you go.